Hi everyone, Misty from Chevy Beautiful Scrapbooking. I just want to do a real quick video on the adhesive I use for my mini albums, cards, anything of that nature, anything with paper. I use the Yes Paste. Love it. It's kind of a mess to deal with, but your projects will be beautiful. It dries flat so you don't get any warping on your cards or your when you do your chipboard and your design paper there's no warping and it really kind of adds a really nice weight to your project. I'm, I'm just going to show you real fast a couple different ways you can put it on. There's several ways to do it, but here are the two ways that I use. As you can see, I'm a very sloppy person with my paste. Try to pry that open. It's just like, looks like paste like when you were in grade school. It's a little bit smoother consistency. Okay, for this chipboard, I'm just using this little spatula knife I got at Michael's. They're real cheap. I have a couple of these and you just put a little bit on. And a little goes a long way. You don't want a whole lot on there. This is a foam brush. And basically you're just gonna, you wanna just take it all the way to the edges. It takes a little bit of time because you really, it's thick and you have to work it to the edges. But can you see how it's getting shiny? You want a super thin coat all over. Okay. So you put Okay, and it's real easy to work with. You can see you can just kind of slide it right into position so it, you get your chipboard and your paper aligned perfectly. And then you can use a brayer to flatten it out or just, you know, really get it down there so you don't have any air bubbles. Okay, that's one way the foam brush. Or you can just use your fingers. The heat from your finger kind of melts the glue a little bit, and sometimes it's a little faster if you do it this way. And I just kind of work in circles to the edges. Just make sure you have your wipes handy nearby to clean off or you'll be a big old sticky mess. Now I've read that some people will use a credit card and use it as a squeegee and they'll just dip it in, put it on, and just make a real thin layer. I don't know that I would do real well with that. The other thing is, is it's water soluble, so if you get some on your project, so you get a little bit on the edge, just take a paper towel, a little damp, wipe it right off, no problems. Okay, there it is. I use it for everything. I've tried every other adhesive. I've tried tape runners, Mod Podge all that and I can't find anything I like better. It's worth the extra mess and honestly I don't know what it does but it does give a nice weight to your project. The other adhesive I use for my embellishments is the Ultimate. It's It dries um, kind of rubbery so like if somebody knocks one of your embellishments it's not going to crack and fall off. Really super good. Love it. Now with the Yes Paste it is acid free safe for your scrapbook, um, archivally safe, let's see, oops, keep hitting the thing, okay, it says, you use on paper, leather, cloth, tin, wood, imitation leather, glass, metal, printed surfaces, much more. I usually use it paper to paper or paper to chipboard, um, so I don't really know how it works on the rest of those, but like I said, it's easy to clean up, it's, it doesn't wrinkle delicate materials, it's just great, I love it. It's kind of pricey. It's like 10, 10 or eleven dollars at Michael's, so bring your forty percent off coupon. And also, I am a big sloppy scrapper, and I'll leave for an hour and, or whatever, and I'll forget the lids off. If you ever get dried out, it'll dry out and crack. Add a little bit of water, stir it up. Good as new. I've probably had this container six or seven months, and I've probably had to add water to it a couple times. You don't want to add too much water because then you might wrinkle your paper, but if you add too much water, you just leave it open and until it's the right consistency again. So this is what I use. Love it. You should try it. And that's it. Thanks, guys.